We are in the wild body. We're in the wild body, baby. Hey guys here we go this is it first drive of the 2022 charger scat pack wide body start up did i do it wrong i might have, i might have did it wrong new owner new owner problems right new owner problems did i do something wrong We're going dang i have a malfunction i can't get it right hold it up. the door's closed everything's closed well um we ain't gonna do the coat we ain't we, we ain't, okay we're gonna act like that didn't happen so y'all welcome to the channel man welcome to the channel we just took delivery of the 2022 wide body scat pack charger and we are about to drive it home for the first time drive home for the first time so this is so y'all know we're gonna get in the car so y'all can see this thing has 11 miles on it brand new guys this is brand new let me move this paper out of the way because this thing is actually aggravated brand new brand new so i actually i'm gonna i'm gonna actually get to get to start up here for the first time I'm, I'm not used to not having the clutch my guy really rails with the ca he can't support your boy on this so let's do this first time starting out starting up the wide body guys it's so quiet <laughs> it's so quiet i got used to it, how quiet it is the seats just kind of got a full tank of gas guys the seats feel amazing they're really bolstered up and things like that sunroof we got that as well um i gotta get used to this thing because you know i had a manual now i'm going to an automatic uh it's different it feels different man it, it definitely feels a lot different here um actually all right guys it's gonna be the first drive here um uh, i have no clue where to put my stuff i'm still trying to get used to this car so we're just going to go we got a knockout he came up support your boy so i'm not i'm not even going to play the radio we're going to go to drive we're going to go we are in the wild body we are in the wild body we're in the wild body baby we're in the wild body man y'all don't know how i'm excited about this i am first drive here in the in the scat pack wide body you got a wide body in front another wide body here this is amazing guys we got the sunroof here guys it's this is even though this is like um even though i don't have the stick shift anymore i don't have the manual this is definitely i, I mean i feel like i'm gonna have fun with it um this is i'm getting used to the sight lines in this car because of the fact that really um like i, I like i got four doors so i can see better another thing with suspension the suspension feels different because my car was lower it was a little bit stiffer this is it feels a little different here we're gonna come on out here i feel like i'm gonna hit it one time but i, I got i'm trying to respect the break in 11 miles I had to do that one time just to see how it feels guys um oh this thing gets up pretty quick too oh. thing gets up pretty quick so i gotta turn around i gotta go the other way actually we'll turn around is this it, it feels good this feels fun i think i'm gonna have a lot of fun with this car um i'm, I'm trying to respect the break in here because i don't want to go too crazy with anything or whatnot but uh this definitely feels fun here um if the car feels different the suspension really feels planted um yeah this this is gonna be fun this is gonna be fun i know i'm gonna say it a lot but this is gonna be pretty fun here um wait for all these cars to go by i'm gonna pick y'all up when we get probably on the back roads a little bit now this is i'm, I'm on eco mode right now 
it, and if that, the, the acceleration on the car is just really different, man. It, it's compared to the, to my 5.7, the acceleration is definitely really different. Um, it's something to get used to. It pulls it pulls up pretty quick, and I was in Eco mode. I wasn't in Sport or Track or anything like that. Um, so that's that's something you got to respect as well. Brembo's, the Brembo's be Bremboing. They be Bremboing for real. All right, so I mean, and just got another feeling with the car. Like with the car, um, the accelerate. I mean, the thing is, it feels like a bigger car. Uh, hold on, oh, 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 I can't talk uh, a much bigger car. But the thing is, I mean, it is a bigger car. I didn't even set my mirrors up. I'm just driving. I didn't even set up my mirrors at all. Uh, let me get my mirrors set up right first off. Like this thing feels different, guys. It feels much different. It feels. I feel like this is going to be a really, really fun car to drive. Um, I know I'm gonna say that a lot. I don't know why I can't get a remote start to work, but we'll figure that out later. But I got a lot more space in it. Uh, yeah, so I'm pick y'all up in a bit here. Another thing with this car that I kind of noticed with the paddle shift is I feel like, and I know a lot of people end up doing this mod later. Uh, the paddle shifts feel kind of short because like with this, you have to have your hands here. Sometimes you may want to drive with the hands up here and you really can't use the paddle shifter. So that's one thing I feel I might have to do is to get this paddle shifter extensions, extensions on the car. But as far as the buttons and the feel of everything, I feel like I'm really right at home with the car. Coming from a Challenger, all the buttons are the same. Like I got my, one thing I get used to is like my buttons on the back. I got buttons to change like the, like the, you know, the radio station or the track on, on like iTunes or something like that. They're right here and they're right by the paddle shifter. So that's going to be something to adjust to because I'm not used to having paddle shifters here. Uh, the volume button is right here. So that's something I got to make sure I, I keep in mind. Um, but yeah, also having the sunroof in the car makes the car feel somewhat spacious. Like I, I didn't have a sunroof in my previous car as a lot of you guys know. Um, but having it, it makes it feel so much like really, really spacious. And I got the back seats back here. So that's pretty good. Uh, I feel like that space back there. Um, the sight lines are a little different. I got to get used to the mirrors. They're, they're a different shape than the other one. So that's something different. Um, I got to adjust the stairwell. I feel like it's in a different location than what I'm used to. So that's the, that actually is just the same way. So I got to find like how I want that. I'll, I'll figure that out later. Uh, I got to get used to not hitting the clutch. Like I really got used to that. Um, so I'm used to doing that. Uh, I don't. I do not want to be by this truck because trucks like this either have rocks on them. The rocks go bouncing everywhere. So yeah. Another thing, I'm probably gonna adjust this here. Um, the the heads up display. I'm probably gonna adjust that. Put something different there. Uh, 180 on the dash. You already know that with the scat packs. Uh, the that I want to say this. The gauges are different from the Challengers. Uh, as far as the tachometer and the speedometer is different. Uh, the Challenger on the RT, well, on the scat pack and below, they have like those old school style gauges. With these, a little bit different from that. Uh, of course, when you get the Hellcats, Hellcats have different gauges. Gauges there. Uh, having this, having this big U connect is good. I'm really happy about having that. Make sure it's kind of hot in here. I don't know if I, yeah, it's all everything's off. Having this big U connect, I'm happy about having that. Uh, the 392 charger being that's cool there. I kind of hate they don't do anything with this here, but I'm I got plans to do something with that myself. Um, yeah, I didn't, unfortunately, you can probably see I didn't get the uh, I didn't get the uh, uh, the suede leather seats, which is fine. Uh, I, I, we're going to explain that in a whole other video. So I'm not going to trip off of that at all. I really like the stern wheel, I like the flat bottom of it. Um, I feel like a little bit more storage on this car as well. Um, with my car, with the Challenger, you don't have the storage here for a phone. Um, and also this armrest feels a whole lot bigger, well, deeper than my Challenger did. And there's a lot of space in that. Um, cup holders, got your cup holders here. Same as kind of in the Challenger. You got one in the door, the same as the Challenger as well. Um, I really want to get by the truck. I do not like being behind this truck. Um, my clock is completely wrong. I'm gonna gotta fix that. We'll fix that later. We're gonna go through all of that stuff. Performance pages. Let me see what, how long it's gonna take. I, I ain't have performance pages, guys. This is new to me. This is new stuff. Performance pages loading. That's probably gonna take forever to load too, because um, that's why I've been hearing this kind of first time I pulled up the performance pages. Um, now I know you guys like like you know you guys probably like, well I already had that kind of stuff in my car. You gotta realize like this is my first time having some of this stuff in the car so you gotta you gotta bear with my excitement right now we got the g-forces i can add another widget here if i want to we got gauges all that kind of stuff dyno like all this stuff is new to me guys all this stuff is new to me and i'm very excited to to play with all this kind of stuff horsepower see what we got i'm trying it, it pulls so oh my gosh like the thing about this it pulls so effortless, it, it effortlessly i had to, had to slow down it, it 
for a car this size like this car it feels like a huge car like i look out the window you can see like the the wild you can see like the wide body fender flare sticking out when you look out the window on both sides and things like that and when the mirror i should say and like you expect this car to be kind of sluggish but for what it is like it moves it, it feels like it's really light on its feet here and, I, and let me see if i can look at my drive modes really quick um i don't know how to do that oh oh uh drive modes duh go to drive modes um we got launch control stuff like that we probably can't get into that um we're in auto right now when it comes to our drive modes srt dashboard um see you trying to see here trying to look at this and look at the same time which i probably can't adjust custom so we could adjust the transmission of course paddle shifters traction suspension um won't let me do anything right now i'm kind of driving so i'm not going to mess with any of that so we're in auto mode right now um performance pages we can go there see what it says there i think we're just in that so we'll we'll look into that later um just kind of cool to see this there because i'm not used to having it so that's going to be fun all right something different i noticed in my challenger already so in my challenger if i press this button here it ends up muting on um, the sound but this one actually has a dedicated mute button which my challenger did not have now one thing about this car that i did not know that it comes with a factory uh alpine system in it with amps and all that type of stuff so it's not like just the speakers and that's it so it has a factory amp built into the car just listen to some music right now it sounds pretty good like for for like the standard sound system in a car it sounds pretty good I, but um but yeah and I, I got my stuff popping up on here i might have to take some say some i might have to take some of that off i don't want all that stuff popping up while i'm driving but um and those are just a couple things i'm noticing man like pretty much the bait the um the, the center stack here is really similar to the challenger uh you know we got some of the same thing i got parking sensors on that come standard on the car rear, rear parking mirror uh, i mean camera um actually i can actually program my garage as well which i'm probably going to do too and sunroof looks have been it yes so we got the so let's pop the sunroof man I'm definitely gonna pop the sunroof also i got some plans like if i do some type of pov or exciting driving i can actually mount my gopro probably there so you guys can see it so that's gonna be fun to do as well i definitely gotta get my youtube on the car because uh this car this this red stands out so much it stands out it's super bright it stands out a lot and i love it um if you didn't know my favorite color is red that's why i had red accents on my charger i mean my challenger i got used to on my challenger um I, a lot of my clothes right i got red shoes on right now and i want to pass this truck which i might just do um but guys i'm gonna go ahead and wrap up the video here i wanted to have some time just enjoy the car on, on my drive home here i really can't do anything too crazy with the car because of the fact that i still got a break in period i want to respect that and and not go too crazy with it. i know i've hit it a couple times but i want to chill out on it um but yeah but there's gonna be a lot of content coming on this car um i like i said i came from a six-speed rt challenger now i'm going to a 6.4 liter charger uh, that's an automatic so there's gonna be a lot of things i can bring as a, a very uh unique perspective onto owning both of the cars here so be on the lookout, look out for all of that and we got a lot of mods to get installed on this car as well so stay tuned for that and just want to thank y'all for joining me on this journey man we're gonna catch y'all on the next video we are out cut it